Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we have Leco 31, next permutation. So implement next permutation, which we arrange number into the lexicographically next greater permutation of numbers. So if such an arrangement is not possible, and it must rearrange it as the lowest possible order, so which is sorted as ascending order. So the replacement must be in place and use only constant memory. So let's, let's see the example one. You see one, two, three. So the next bigger number will be 132. Um, three, two, one, which is the biggest number already, which is the biggest permutation. So nothing you can do. So we make this whole array become the smallest number, which is one, two, three. So in one, one, five, we switch to one and five become one, five, one. So this is the example right here. So first, um, we have three things to do is finding K. So what is K? K is looking from the back of the array to see what number can be exchanged. So now you see in here, yeah, the last second word started from last second word to the beginning of the array. Now we're sending it this point to see if can this point is smaller than the previous number. So if it's smaller than previous number, that can be exchanged to the next permutation. So now we found that K is right here. Now this is K. And next thing, and then we can find what is the replacement. Replacement. So also we have now K is right here. And then we looking from the back, which is the last the last index of this array to see which one is bigger than two, which is K. If the number is bigger than K, then that can be swap. And then now next is swap. After swapping it, we'll have one, three, two, So now, and for example, um, at last, after swapping, we need to rearrange, we need to sort the remain number after the, the swapping. So for example, we have one, two, three. Uh, let's see, you have, I mean, three, 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 for example, three. So now we know this is a K and this is a replacement. Now we replace three in here and two in here. This is not the next permutation. You see the original one is, sorry. One, two, three, three, three. So now, as you know, this is not the right permutation. I think this example is not really clear, but we can ignore this one right now. But just remember that after we swap it, we still need to um, sort the remaining remaining number to make the smallest order. So now then we can get the next permutation. And basically that's the idea of this question. And let's take a look at look at the code now. First, um, we have the corner case checking. Num is equal to no or nums dot link less than two. Yeah, then we don't need to do anything, just return it. So now we have 
started in k equal to num start length minus uh, two, which is the last second index right here. So then we have to check which one is the um the last k right here k less than or equal to zero. So if numbers of k smaller than numbers of k plus one, that means that k position is the position that we can swap. So now we can break out this loop. Otherwise, k is minus minus. So we check, but in this case, we see nothing fulfill this um, statement. That means nothing can be swapped, then k will be less than zero. So if k less than zero, what does it do? We will rearrange the nums. So after that, nums will be ascending order. Then we we can return. Yep. So I think that much clear. So we have a K shuttle down. Settle down that K now is located at the place that we need to switch. And we have to loop through starting from I equal to num dot link minus one, the last number, all the way to I is bigger than K, I is minus minus. So going back from, I'm going from the back of the ray until we meet K. So any number that bigger than K can be swapped. So basically get the smallest number that is bigger than K. So now if, we have, if I bigger than nums than K, then we can do the swapping in nums equal to in k nums k equal to ten. So this is how you swap it. On the swap, we break out this for loop, so we don't need to keep looping anymore. Otherwise, we keep looping until we find the uh, swapping place. So now, actually, we have a sort sorting case in here. So we don't add this one. We don't do the sorting. Let's see what happens. So now, if we do run the code, okay, some typo. Now, if we don't swap it, it looks good for this case. But when we submit it, that will be wrong. Why? So now we find which one's bigger than, uh, let's find K first. Now if K is right here, so no, this bigger than this, now we jump further. This doesn't bigger than the period, uh, next one. So this will be K. So after one is K, and then go to the last, position of the array to search which one is bigger than k. So now we see one and two should be swap. That's what it heap it does in here. But look, after swap, this, now two is the next number. But next number, but it should be two, one, three. So the rest of the number after the k should be sorted in order to get the smallest number. So this is a good case in order to explain why do we need to do the sorting. So what we can do is sort numbers is the array from k plus one 
to the end of the array num.length. And after sorting this one, you have two right here, and the rest of the number will be sorted in one and three. And that's it, it passed all the cases. Uh, hopefully we remember, uh, it's easy to understand right here. If you still have any question, please comment it below and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.